गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड गुड Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon. <laughs> Ma'am, please unmute yourself. Hi, Sampli, Malika. What are you doing today? Ma'am. डिवाइड कर हेलो मैम हेलो मैम हेलो मैम हेलो मैम हेलो मैम आफ्टरनून मैम आफ्टरनून मैम आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून मैम यानी गुड आफ्टरनून मैम 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 मैम 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Please unmute yourself. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can I please say anything? Go. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone.
गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन एम आई ऑडिबल Yes. yes. Okay. How are you all? I'm good. Okay. First of all, I would like to tell you the rule of our class that. whenever i'm asking you something what you have to do if you want to say yes you have to show me a thumbs up and if you want to say no what you have to do you have to show me a thumbs down yes okay okay so let's get started let's get started with the class are you all ready with your drawing copy i'm using an a4 size yes very good so open your drawing copy and keep it vertically like this okay keep it vertically very good like i have kept it and how many of you have your birthdays in december january february do you have your birthdays in these upcoming days okay we are going to make a birthday drawing today okay and you can use this drawing to make birthday cards also and you can convert it into a christmas card also okay yes okay so let's get started with the drawing i'll be waiting for just um, a couple of minutes few of the students are still getting joined so let let's all of them by that time i'll tell you the material that we'll be using for today's class okay so first of all we will be needing a bangle okay one more thing whenever you have a question you can put it in the chat box okay chat box is open in front of me and i'll be able to check all the questions that you are asking right everyone so simply put your questions in the chat box i'll be able to see them okay and we will be needing we will be needing a circle or a bangle pencil eraser and black sketch pen other than this we will be needing plastic crayons okay we had planned to use watercolors also but we re received so many requests that many of the students did not have watercolors so we have skipped that for today's class okay so let's get started now okay let's let's start with the class i will be zooming in little bit okay so this is my complete paper okay and let's take a pencil okay and we will start with you know this is my complete paper and this is the center let's take a dot in the center at this side okay and you have to come little downwards from the center come little downwards this is the center and come little downwards from the center and take a, take another dot my video is my voice is not clear can you all hear me properly show me a thumbs up if if i'm clear to all of you okay okay so i took a dot in the center and then i came little downwards and i took another dot now i will make a straight line i will make a straight line and 
not going till the end but little upwards little backward okay and at the end i will make a curve and i'll connect it like this okay i'll connect it like this it will go upwards what i did i made a straight line and you don't have to use like you don't have to make exactly straight line if it is little you know teda meda that is also fine because we are making a branch hai na so branch is never perfectly straight right okay <coughs> it is a scene we are making a scene not a scene actually you can use this scene as a card also but you can like you can use it as your card as well okay yes so now you know let's take a dot in the center of this part let's take a dot in the center little downwards from the center in fact and make a slanting line going upwards yes very good make a slanting line going upwards and then make it like this connect it and it will go straight and till the end at the end it will again got open it will get open okay yes what i have done i just took a dot in center then took a dot little below than that and from this dot i made a straight line which is going upwards at the end then i made an another line which is coming from downwards going upwards then going straight and then little downwards this is all i have done till now okay after this you have to take a dot here and another dot here one dot i have taken little of above from this and one dot little below and then i'll make a v and what kind of v it will go straight okay okay i'll be waiting i'll be waiting for a minute i hope i'm completely visible to all of you okay and now i'll go this side and this side i'll make a v but at it its edge would be curvy okay it will be curved like this you can make it like this you are making a birthday card is everyone done with the branch we are we have completed the branch show me a thumbs up if you have done and one more thing every time you are showing a thumbs up i want to see a big smile okay thumbs up means i'm done and you should be happy for that okay so show me a thumbs up with a smile yes very good so many students are giving wonderful smile thank you okay so now let's move to the next part now is the time to use our bangle okay so first bangle you will keep here and you know it will be almost very close it will be very close to the branch and hold it using these two fingers and then press it little bit and draw the circle inside we will be drawing three circles okay three circles close to each other one two and three 
very close to each other only then your uh, circles will fit inside okay make three circles like this this is a bangle size regular bangle size complete it complete it what happened to shali complete it i'm waiting okay i'm waiting okay i'll tell you again okay i'll tell you again whatever question you have put it in the chat box i cannot unmute anyone because you know if i will unmute the screen would get shifted to you and students will not be able to see the drawing yes if you if you don't have space now you can make two two circles also that is absolutely fine i have made three if you think you don't have space you can make two as well yes with the same bangle you have to use the same bangle to make these three circles or two circles yes two circles are also fine perfectly fine no space for third one okay i got it no problem just make two okay two are also fine yes okay so now now i will zoom it in so that you know you can focus on each and every circle perfectly okay so i will start with this one right now what you have to do you know there is little space left okay so make take two dots like this one and two below the circle you have to take two dots on the branch one and two okay and i will connect these dots with the circle going upwards you know making it a part of the shape like this same i will do for this side that i will connect this line with the circle so so that it would look like it is a part of the circle's line only like this you know you we have to merge this line with the circle everyone getting this point okay okay i'm waiting for a minute <coughs> it's a very easy step you will be able to do it very easily just focus on it that we have taken two points and then i will connect it going upwards like this this is vertical only my book is see my book is kept vertical only i have just zoomed in it zoomed it in i have zoomed in so that you know you can Yes if you have big page you can make four also what i did i have made three circles see i have made three circles in a4 size but if you have a bigger so bigger uh, drawing book you can make more and if you if you are able to make only two no space left after that then no need to make three make just two okay yes you can we can use wax crayons also we prefer plastic crayons but wax crayons will also do So I made a circle. Then I took two dots just below it, and then I connected it going upwards. Okay, from the beginning. In the beginning, what I have done, I have just made a branch at the bottom. You know, this is this is very less space left at the bottom, and little above from the bottom, I have just made a branch that looks like this. This is all I had done. okay we are doing a birthday birthday uh, you can call it a greeting card or a birthday stuff okay now i will connect these two points making zigzag make zigzag <coughs> zigzag line and how to make a zigzag line we will make v v v v so many v oil pastels can also be used 
I am Ayushi. Maybe that's why you might find my voice different. Okay. So make so many V, and now I will erase this line inside. Okay. Can you all hear me properly? Okay, very good. Now I will erase this line. Let us erase it. <coughs> okay. And here I have the shape of an, what are we making? We are making an owl. Okay. We are making owls celebrating birthday. And it will be great fun. You'll, you'll enjoy it a lot. Okay. Now just below this, what I will do, I will make a U and another U. Two U shapes I have made. Okay. I will, I will zoom it out. Okay. I'll zoom it out for a minute and then I'll have to zoom in again. Otherwise you will not be able to see the drawing. This is the complete drawing. See. This is my complete drawing. <coughs> okay. Now I will zoom it in again. And I'll come to this part. And let us make, now let's make W. You know, inside this, you, you, the, this U we have made, I'll connect it making a W. And first of all, erase the lines coming inside the U. You know, zigzag line is coming inside the U, erase this so that you will find a clear U shape and then make a W. Make a W like this. Okay, this is the shape we want. Right? And now, now I will make the eyes. To make the eyes, I will take, I'll make a circle, a big circle and close to it, I'll make another circle, okay? I have made two circles like this. Yes, this is the branch line. This is how it looks from this side. And this is how it looks from the back side. It is very simple. It is just making a Y at the end and little thicker at the back side. No, I'll not suggest you to use watercolors because in this particular drawing, we are going to use different uh, drawing, uh, dif different coloring techniques using crayons. Okay, so I'll suggest you to use that only. Right? Now, everyone done till here? Show me a thumbs up if you are done till here. Okay. <coughs> Now, you know, in the center of this, I'll make another U, another U shape I'll make. And you know, the lines coming inside, I'll erase it again. Because you know, the lines disturb. So I have made a U overlapping both the eyes. Make sure you, your U overlap all, both the eyes, okay? And then I will connect it with a very nice V shape. And what is this? What is this, students? This is the beak, <laughs> not the nose, the beak of owl, okay? Do birds have nose? 
this is the beak okay yes now we will make the eyeballs okay let us make the eyeballs so i'll make it one and two i'll make it like this <coughs> yes do it till here and then we will be proceeding further okay Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, very nice. Many of the students are showing me, and they have done really good. You know, every time you are done with your drawing, na, like we are done, we are half done with the owl. so you have to after drawing you have to check it that is it looking like an owl what is the part that you have done wrong okay you have to check it so after drawing when you will check it now you will be able to find so many mistakes and then you can erase and fix it up okay so make it a habit of checking your drawing rechecking your drawing by your own very very important step okay yes so now <coughs> now the next step now i will make a small circle inside the owl's eye small circles and i'll make little circle at the back also little circle at the back am i visible to all of you yes okay now let's take two dots one and two let's take two dots and let's make an s like this coming inside and from this side also let's make an s then just outside of this first of all make the s <coughs> and then just outside of it make a c make a c okay make a c outside and then again connect it straight with zigzag lines same i will do this side i'll make a c outwards and then i will make zigzag lines and then i'll erase these lines okay so these are the feathers of feathers of my owl okay complete it till here
just a minute everyone i'm trying to get connected with the class okay all have done till here yes okay now we will erase these two lines so i'll erase these lines inside so these are the feathers of my owl okay now because they are celebrating birthday right they are celebrating birthday okay tell me one thing which which festival you want to celebrate with this drawing birthday or christmas write it down in the chat box so we will go according to the demand everyone is saying christmas <laughs> diwali who is saying diwali diwali is gone okay so everyone wants to celebrate christmas actually so let us make this a christmas drawing okay let's not make this a birthday drawing but a, we will we will be converting it into a christmas drawing okay so now these owls are celebrating christmas right so now i will make a curve okay take two dots take two dots like this video is off okay take two dots like this and now i will make a c a c for cat i will zoom it in so that you can see okay yes now now i will make a c at the edge one and two yes okay so make it one and two and then again make a c going inside like this okay everyone done till here now again erase this line again erase this line see you are learning how to make an owl okay so you have to make rest of the owls by your own right so focus on the method very clearly okay now take two dots now take two dots and make them going upwards like this like a or you can simply make a v shape make a v like this okay make a v like this and then at the edge of the v i will make a circle so they are wearing a woolen cap okay and again i will erase this line which is coming inside my circle okay now the final step of making this complete everyone make this this part and then we will be completing to the next part okay <coughs> well 
when you're done show me a thumbs up so that i can see that you're done okay very good very nice now you know this this line make it like this little little pointed edges make little little pointed edges at this line just like i have done so that it looks like fur okay it should look like a fur and then we will make small small lines and far not close but far away from each other small vertical lines and here i'm done with my first owl okay when you're done with your first owl you have to show me a thumbs up okay completed exactly in the same way those who are done they can start making other owls also exactly in the same way okay yes many of you are done so you know what what was the next step after this what was the step we did we made two points and then we connected it with the circle this is how we had started now then we made a two u shape and we made w inside then we connected it with zigzag line and we erased the inner circular part this part this line we erased it okay you know all the method because you have made a bird already with this made an owl so follow the same method and this will give you a very nice practice of making this owl okay now now what we will do we will make the we will make the eyes hai <coughs> na so to make the eyes make two circles close to each other okay then make a u a long u and then make a v okay then make this one is looking in the front so i'll make it like this in the center then small circles inside wow done with all the owls very good okay now i will take two dots and i'll make the wings make a c and then connect it okay make small feathers inside then now is the time to make the cap so for this one we will make the cap in <coughs> other direction i'll make the cap tilted this side okay so make a v sorry a c then a c at the edges okay i'm going slow okay okay i'll go slow <coughs> complete till here okay complete it till here then we will move further and we will connect it with a c again okay and erase these two lines okay then take two dots and make a v again 
and a circle at the top <coughs> i know many of you have completed all the owls very good and those who have completed all the owls na please wait for us because we have to go little slow many young kids are also there so we all have to go together hai na it is these lines coming inside the owl it is all these lines and then make the zigzag line at the edge to show it furry and here i am done with the second one okay now let us start with the third one the third owl Okay let us start with the third owl Same thing take two dots and connect it upwards then make two u in the center and make w connect it and erase the lower line it is the lower line you know we have done it three times now and so i hope you all must be clear with the method okay now let us make big eyes a long beak make a u and connect it with connect it with v okay then this is looking downwards okay i have made the owls looking in different directions and again i'll make a c and i'll make the i'll make the dot and i'll make an s a c and i'll connect it i'll make the feather yes i know many of you have finished but many are doing also okay again i'll take two dots and i'll make the line okay then make c and then connect it two points make he v and circle and it is all the lines okay and here i am also done with all my owls very good i can see many of you are done and few are saying ki please wait okay i'll be i'm waiting i'm already going very slow many of the students are going actually faster than me but that is absolutely fine okay so here we are done with all the owls right now so this is how all three owls will look like yes those who have to leave the class they can leave the class okay no problem now take a dot here at the bottom i will zoom it out little bit so that you can see this is the drawing see okay and 
I have taken a dot here and I will take another dot this side. And I will connect it with a C. Okay, connect it with a C, then make a line like this, like it is tied here. You can make a knot kind of thing also. Make two drop shapes and a curve. Here also, I will show that it is tied up. I have made a V. Okay. And in the end, I will make equal sized V. Make sure your V would be equal size. Okay. If you want, you can take dots at equal size also. Take dots. This would help you making the V of equal sizes. Okay, like this. Okay, so I have made a decor here. Now, now in the air, in this part, in this part, I will make circle. Okay. Make two circles like this. One just above in the center of these two owls and one here. Then make two lines and a curve. What is this? This is a balloon. These are two balloons we have made. Okay. Make two balloons. And their thread coming like this inside and it is also tied here. One you can make going here also like this. Or, you know, simply what you can do is you can make this bird holding the balloon. This would look even more nice. See, I'll show you how to do that. This balloon, make it in his hands like this. He's holding the balloon. Okay, so this is our complete drawing. Everyone done with it? Show me a thumbs up full. Show me two thumbs up if you're happy with your drawing. Come on, everyone. And a big smile if you're done with your drawing and you're happy with your drawing. Okay. Yes, everyone done? Okay. Many of you are not done. You can complete it. By the time, we will start with the outlining. So pick up your sketch pen. Pick up your sketch pen and... And start outlining it, okay? We will be starting with the outline now. Very carefully. And you know, when you will do the outline, you will realize that how nice your drawing would look. You will be so happy to see the drawing. Okay, and make sure you do the outline in the right right side on the right lines okay
I'm also finishing with my outlining. Yes, I'll show the down part. This is how it is looking. Okay, and these small, small, these are very small. You don't have to make them too much. Otherwise, you know, it will look messy. Make them really small and less. Okay. And, you know, for the eyes, we have made two circles inside the eyeball. Hai na? So, we have to fill the color outside the eyeballs. And these two circles should be visible. And after doing this, you will see that how nice your eyes are looking now. Okay. Again, I'm starting with my second, second one. Okay, I'm doing the outline of my second one. Make the eyeballs. And you know, fill the outer part of the eyeballs, not the inner part. Just the outer part. Okay, let us do this balloon also. The branch. All the parts you have to... And you know, you don't have to outline the areas which we have filled color. If you don't have sketch pen, do draw it with your pencil only, darker one. Yes, yes. If you don't have black sketch pen, you can use any darker color. You can use blue color, purple, brown, whichever you have available. That actually gives a very different look to your drawing, you know. It doesn't look bad at all. So if you don't have black sketch pen, don't worry, use any other which you have available, but it should be darker. Try to use a darker sketch pen, okay? Again, for this one also, I'll fill the outer part of the eyeball, not the inner circles I have made. And this is how your eyes should look like. I'll make the balloon again. Okay, now is the final time to do it. Yes, you can make gifts also. You can make a Christmas tree also with this. But I'm not doing this because the drawing is already full. If you want, you can add so much of stuff. Right? So here I'm done with my drawing. And I'll erase all extra lines after I'm done with my outlining. Okay? So pick up your eraser and erase all the extra lines. Okay. 
these all the extra lines <coughs> and very carefully that you don't tear your paper okay take care of your paper everywhere wherever you see the pencil just erase it and you will in the end you will find neat and clean drawing just with the outline slip and you will see that how nice and neat it is looking okay and remove all the extra dust and this is how your drawing should look like okay how many of you are done with the outline yes black gel pen is also okay black gel pen is also fine no problem with that <coughs> okay you complete it Okay everyone you complete it i'm waiting for a couple of minutes and then i will be starting with the coloring part also but i want all of you because i want to start the coloring together so i'm waiting for all of you to get done first okay one more thing that you can do is you can make the snowflakes how to make the snowflakes one method is you can make these kind of circles small circles you can make okay and the other method is make a plus and a small one and make four circles okay you can make the circles at the edges also so this is a very simple way to make snowflakes so make three four snowflakes not more i made a plus then cross and then i made circles all over and it would look a very nice snowflake okay and in rest of the area just make simple circles so this would give the look of you can make dots also to show the snowflakes which are very far okay complete it till here everyone and then we will be moving ahead we have to start with the coloring but i really want that all of you get done till here first of all
Okay, how many? Show me a thumbs down. Wow, many of you are showing and you have done great. Is everyone happy with your drawing? Wow, someone has made a Christmas tree also at the bottom. Very nice. Very nice. Can you all please show me once what you have done? Those who are done can show me their drawings. Okay, very good. Very nice, everyone. Okay, now let's get started with the coloring part. Coloring part is also, we have so many shapes to color now. So let us start with the coloring. First of all, <coughs> we will start, I will pick up the green color. Okay, I will pick up this green. This green I have taken, you can take any green which you have. Okay, take any green that you have and start outlining. Start outlining. Give a thick outline. Okay, like this. I'll zoom it in so that you can see. I have taken the green. This is sea green and you can take any green that you have. And yes, you can use dark green color also. Okay, and you know, make the outline around the eye also. Just the outline I'm doing, okay? In the upper part, you can fill it also. And for the lower part, I'm doing the outline. Okay? So this, this much is how much I've done. Now you will make a lighter, lighter outline, light, light outline on both the sides like this, you know, with less pressure, fill light, light color on both the sides and upwards also, you know, complete, take all the area and upwards also and downwards also so that you will find a very nice shed in the body which is where the white is peeping up okay little white is visible and see this is how your owl should look we will leave some very little white space in the center and i have filled the green color all over and i will fill green color dark dark green color in the feathers also Okay, fill it in the feathers also. <coughs> Everyone got this technique of coloring? What I have done? I have done the outline and the coloring in the outer area. Okay, and then I did light, light outline inside and then I merged it with white. <coughs> so this is how my coloring is looking. Okay, everyone done with first owl? The coloring of first owl, complete it everyone. Complete it and we will be moving to the second one.
Yeah, okay, now, now we will start with the second owl, just like this, just like we did in the first one. Is it visible, everyone? Am I visible to all of you? Show me a thumbs up if yes. Yes, okay. Okay, so let us start with the second owl now. And in this one, I want to fill pink color. Let us fill the pink color inside, okay? So take out the pink color. <coughs> and same thing we will do with which we did here now, same thing we will be following for here also. Okay, I'll do the outline. The upper part I will fill completely in fact, okay? And in the lower part only, I'll do the outline. Okay, so fill the upper part and for lower part, just the outline would be enough. Okay, I will be filling this color all over and make sure when you're filling the color in up in in upper area white color should not be visible means white white paper should not be visible okay so this is how i'm doing the Yes. Done till here? Yes, yes, you can use pencil colors also, no problem. Wow, that is wonderful. Someone has already finished the second owl. Very good. Okay, now, you know, you can make colorful owls. So now, <coughs> I will be making light, light outlining all over around to make it looking like it is getting mixed. Okay, it is getting mixed with with this area. And see, this is how the second owl is looking. Now is the time and feathers are also left. Okay, for feathers, this time I will be going with the dark pink color. We get a dark pink color also in the feathers, in the color. So 
Let us fill little darker color. It would look very nice. See how nice it is looking. Little darker. And no color shading required in the feather. Just normal coloring. If you want, you can make the outline also with. Okay. Okay, so here is my second owl also done. Now is the time for my third owl. And I will be doing purple color. Let's do purple color in the third owl. <coughs> okay, same technique I will use. If you have done purple color already, then use any other color. Very simple. Use any color that you have available and you feel like to color. You can fill blue color, yellow, orange. So many colors are there. Green color you can fill. I hope you can see now. Can you all see my drawing now? Yes, now it should be visible. Can you all hear me? Okay, I don't know what happened. Yes, let us complete the coloring. Okay, do light, light coloring around. And again, we will be leaving some white space in the center. This would give a very nice effect and feathery look, puffy look to our drawings. Okay. Now, <coughs> again, purple color inside the feathers also. We have to fill the purple color inside the feathers. 
so let us make the feathers with purple color right now take out the red color we will be needing the red color because we have to do the cap right <coughs> so to do this cap i'll show you how to do this cap okay so to do this cap i will be doing the outline in the edges just in the edges okay as you can see i have done the outline just in the edges part then i will do other outline and merging it with white okay it will be darker you can do little outline at the lower part also but it would be lighter inside darker at the edges and it would be lighter inside this is how the cap should look same i'll do with all three caps to make them look like christmas cap like they are wearing christmas caps okay do the edges darker and then slowly come inside and lower the intensity <coughs> and here i'm done with the second cap also okay again we will be doing with the third cap also right this is we are done with all the three caps now take the orange color take the orange color to do the beaks to fill it in the beaks and in the in the feet of owls okay like this you can fill red color red and dark green color in the lower part also i'll show you how <coughs> Yes yes I'll show the complete picture just a minute Yes This is the complete picture and you can take the screenshot of this. Okay? And you know this lower part. This part let us fill one with red and other with green. So it would look like a Christmas decoration. simple flat color we will fill <coughs> okay alternate coloring i have done one with red and now i will be taking the dark green color and i will fill the green color inside okay like this oops i have done this by mistake i have turned two red consecutively i'll fill green in rest of them 
so that they should look like Christmas. Okay, I'm sorry, I cannot unmute any one of you. I'm very sorry for that because if I will unmute now, then screen would get shifted and you will not be able to see me. Now let us fill green color in one of the balloon. Why I'm doing green and red? Because these are the colors of Christmas. Green, red and white. Again, I'm using the same technique for coloring to show it 3D. That. I'm doing thick outline. Then I'm doing little lighter outline. little lighter and then I will go even lighter inside. Go little lighter. Like this and see the balloon is also looking 3D. Hana? Now I'll fill red color in this balloon. Okay, let us fill red color in this balloon. Okay, as Christmas is coming, you can make this drawing for so many purposes. okay? So many different purposes, you can make this drawing. Okay, before, before you all, we complete the class and everyone is asking me to wait. Okay, I'll be waiting. I want to give you all the numbers so that you can WhatsApp me and <coughs> share your drawings with me. Okay, this is the number. Everyone, please note it down. I want to see the drawings done by all of you. Okay, so when you complete your drawing, hold this drawing in your hands and share it with me. Okay, WhatsApp me. This is a WhatsApp number. So you can WhatsApp me your drawing. No, no, no. Class is not over yet. I'm, I'll be completing. But I want to give you the number because few of the students were leaving as they had another class. So note down my number and WhatsApp me all the drawings, okay? Whatever you have done, do WhatsApp me so that I can check it. Hold your drawing and give me a big smile, okay? Yes, everyone, please take a screenshot or and this number is available for calling from 11 to 6 p.m., okay? Yes, now let's get back to our drawing. It is seven six one seven four one zero nine double one. Right? Okay, thank you. And now let's get back to the coloring. So 
take the black color and take the brown color okay the dark brown and black so why i have taken black i will be making a thin outline and light not the darker one the lighter one i'm doing lighter outline i'll do on both the sides inside the branch okay like this and if you want you can merge it with white also little bit just like i'm doing okay okay this is the phone number yes it is 7617410911 you can whatsapp me and you can contact me on this number for regular classes also i'm taking regular classes as well for different age groups we have different different time slots and you know we have pre junior batch junior batch senior batch super senior batch so we have all the age groups and teaching them separately like different different age groups time slots for different age groups so you can whatsapp me and you can share your artworks do share your artworks with me <coughs> okay so i'm doing a very light black outline i'm not doing it darker right and now i'm picking up the i'm picking up the brown color and just filling it normally inside the branch no need to do any extra effort the black color you have done in the background would give a very nice look to your branch okay just keep filling the regular color just make sure that you fill the color evenly in one direction small strokes don't do this like in random direction okay i'll tell you all the details uh, the regular classes i'm taking are on monday wednesday and friday okay we are taking regular classes on monday wednesday and friday and the fees is 1000 rupees for one month where you will get 14 classes and in 14 classes <coughs> we will be completing seven artworks okay we like this class is little longer because this is an activity hai na otherwise the usually the classes are one hour each and every class is sharp one hour class and we complete drawing in one class then we complete coloring in another class okay the size of the batch is the same exactly as, as this class the pattern of teaching would also be the same the number of students might increase or decrease also it is usually 200 250 but it might increase or decrease also and the teaching pattern also goes exactly the same just like we did in today's class students were on mute and they could ask whatever they wanted to ask you can whatsapp us also after the class gets over so that your questions can be answered you can share your artworks with us so that we can check them and guide you if you are doing right or not okay i'm about to get done with the branch like where we had around around 5 to 600 students in today's class also so this is the number of the class and it might decrease like it is around 200 to 50 it might increase or decrease also okay <coughs> the number is this and the final step is still left everyone which is the coloring in the background okay the most important part okay this is the whatsapp number please note it down and now let us get started with the coloring part in the background okay let's start with it 
you know i'll just do coloring in one direction first of all small small strokes i'm i'm using sky blue color and i will not do the coloring around the snowflakes i'll try to stay away from the snowflakes just maintain the coloring okay no need to fill any color see this is how the coloring should go very light light coloring and away from away from the drawing that we have done so that you know it will give the snowy effect the winter and snowy effect because you know fog is everywhere right so by doing this kind of coloring it gives a very nice foggy and snowy effect okay so i'm leaving all the part not trying to go very close to the shapes maintaining a distance okay like this do very very light coloring like this okay and i'm done with the coloring of yes yes i'll show my number let me just complete this coloring part and then i'll be showing my number okay just wait for a minute and this is the complete drawing as you can see i'm doing the filling in lower part also i have to finish the coloring in the lower part as well okay so fill the blue color in the lower part background is always very important and you know you can make this drawing for any competition also like so many christmas competitions and you will you might get the homework in the school also that draw christmas drawing so you can easily make this drawing okay that owls are celebrating christmas first of all it is a very different depiction of christmas usually what we do we always make a santa we make some gifts hai right? na then we make some make some kids playing but for the first time we are showing that animals are doing animals are celebrating and birds are celebrating christmas so this is the very different depiction of christmas that it is for everyone okay it is not just for christians and not just for few people no it is for everyone each and every festival is just to bring colors in life right so you can you can celebrate all the festivals we can celebrate eid also we can celebrate diwali also we can celebrate christmas also right i'm using the sky blue color this is the color see sky blue color i have used and with this this is the complete look of my drawing you all complete it and then share your drawing with me i would love to see what you have done and i'll share my number again with you here is my number okay it is 7617410911 and we are taking i'll write down the price also it is 1000 for one month for 14 for 14 classes and for more details and for the batches and all now you can whatsapp or call on this number 
thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the class can you all please show me your artworks and do share your artworks with me because you know right now i might not be able to check the artworks by all of you very nice very nice please everyone show me your artwork very good someone has done two birds and three birds very nicely done are you all happy with the artwork give me a big smile with thumbs up if you are happy with your artwork and you are going to share your artwork with me okay you are going to share your artworks with me on my whatsapp number so that i can check each and every one's artwork okay and my number is here so that please note down my number and with this everyone i'll wind up with the class yes yes whatever questions you have you might ask you can ask now whatever questions you have you can ask I'm glad that you are happy. Thank you so much. Which color on the cap of the circle? It will be white because you know this is cotton. This is cotton and this is also cotton. That is why we have not filled any The time of the classes are different. We have different time slots like for junior batch we have 1 to 2, sorry 2 to 3 and 5 to 6. for senior batch it is in the evening time so we have different time slots you can whatsapp me whatever question doubt you have regarding the class now you can whatsapp me on the number i have given my number already yes the class is over now those who want to leave can leave now yes we are starting with the new batch tomorrow those who are interested to join the new classes na you can start from tomorrow and for kids of 3 to 6 years who are beginners they can even start the classes from today today evening we will be having our club we will be starting with our new batch which is 6 to 7 pm thank you so much everyone we do different colors like for junior batch we do plastic crayons and senior batch we do oil pastel and watercolors Okay, show the drawing, please. Here is the drawing. You can WhatsApp me for the complete drawing picture. Also, I'll share it with you. Even the recording, I will share. Okay. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye.